Howdy everyone, Clint Rawls here with Delta Valves and Controls. What we got today is a, it's a CML 750 made by Rotorque. We got it mounted on a CVS 2 inch ET control valve. And uh, just want to make things easier for guys calibrating these in the field. Uh, the instructions aren't that bad, but I like videos. Uh, my shop guys like videos. So let's go through it. So, what we have here is all of the settings. So, make sure y'all can see that. Okay, so now we got to go into, first thing you do is you set it to local control. So, you got to find it. So, it says local remote. You gotta hit enter, so you'll see, wait for it to save, but when you get to it, you gotta hit enter and go into edit. And then once you go into edit, then you can change it, and then hit enter again and it'll save. So now you're in local remote. You gotta hit exit or the cancel button to cancel and be able to go through the menu. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to set our closed limit. Now you would hit enter, enter, go to edit. Now you could press the up button. It travels up, down button travels down. Behind this, I'm sorry, we're, we taped it off because we're painting it. Um, there's a travel scale. You can kind of see it there at the bottom. So you can see right there i stroked it to the closed position so now that we're in the closed position we hit enter saved okay now we back out of that and hit back again uh, i hit it too many times sorry so the open limit i'm not going to do it because i can't see behind the tape you would do the exact same thing. This two inch valve has inch and an eighth travel. Um, so what we do, we stroke it up inch and an eighth on this scale, measuring it, get to inch and an eighth, and then you would hit enter and it would save. And then you would hit the XX button. I think X once and then it lets you go back through the menu. So now you're set. So it knows where the closed position is going down and the open position going up. So that's great. But now you have to set the uh, action as far as the what it does in the open position. So when it gets to the open position, do you want it to stop on the limit you set or do you want it to stop on thrust? So we want limit, so we would hit enter, edit, and that's force, that's limit. So the open, we want limit on a globe valve. Hit enter, bam. So now we hit the X button once. So now we set the closed. So we want the closed on force, which it already is. I'll show you here. There's the limit, there's force. Beautiful, save. So now, the thrust setting. You could hit enter, you could bring it down. This valve requires it to be fully open, bam. Okay, so now, we're gonna go back into this setting. We're gonna set it to remote. So now, We've got our control box set up here. This gives a four to 20 signal. 25%, 50%, 75. Now we're just gonna go back to four. And 
And then you can tell just by barely moving it that the actuator is moving. Well, I can tell because I can hear it. I'm not sure if y'all can hear it. Even at 4.1, it moves. Anyhow, um, I just wanted to show you guys. I'll show you the inside. So we did the mounting bracket so that we could use Fisher style or CVS style connecting blocks and uh, you know the yoke nut and the whole nine yards just to make things nice and simple. This stem actually rides up inside of a hole in this stem just like a Fisher spring and diaphragm actuator just makes things really easy. Anyhow, hope this helps. Uh, Y'all have a great day.